So let's focus now on how to get a textbook's value and show that eventually on the website. So we're going to put in here a name, for example here, hello123. Then if I click on this, and what will happen is it will replace whatever the value is with a new value here. Let's start to look how to do this. So now let's look at how we can do this. So first of all, we have this here and we have to put in a text box here. We also have to make a button and then we have to put in here a paragraph. So let's start to do this. So we're going to say input and we will say here type text and we give this an ID and I will just say this will be our user name. So once we did this, put in here a slash and you can see I have just a basic bootstrap design here just to please the eye. Next, what I want to have is a button. So we're going to create a button here. And this button here, if we click on this, we say show username. And this show username must have, or at least the button must have an ID as well. So we say here show button, or at least ID equals button. In here, we will have a paragraph, and this paragraph will show the name. Show name. And then maybe we can say here uh, class, and we say here yeah, text color or what is that uh, text light we save that you can see here we get a white text here we could do here maybe some design doesn't matter so much i'll ignore that for now so what i want to do now is just focus on the javascript here because that's the most important part so first of all i have this button here there's an id and i believe that this should be an id as well because that would make it much easier for us to extract that name so you can say here the ID could be the name itself. So it's a show name. And then in here, what we're going to do is basically grab the input. And when we click on this button, we want to trigger something. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, we're going to create here the constant. We're going to select the IDs or at least the button element. So it's a constant button equals, then we're going to say here document dot get element by id and what this truly means is go search into this html document and get an element and what is the element well it could be the button this input div anything here but we're going to specify the id of it which is a string name and that id name is the button id so we're going to say go look for an element with the id name of button which is this id here so that's number one the second one what i need is the text input text here. So same methodology, we're going to use here the text as constant. We just grab this entire item, put it in here, and then we say here, text. Finally, what we want to do is, we also want to grab here the name of the paragraph or this ID name, because we want to later on adjust the show name into whatever name we have inserted in the input text. So we're going to say a constant, we can say here a name ID equals just grab the entire item here and say here name all right now we have this what i want to do now is if i save this refresh nothing happens yet i want to click on this button and when i click on this button i want to trigger or fire a specific function so we're going to see uh, first of all we're going to create then the button effect so there's a button which is now basically this id here we select a specific element dot add event listener and then we're going to say here when would we like to trigger the button on click so we say here on the click then what i want to do is here we can put this empty parentheses we can put in here e for event and get the event code but we don't need this so it's not necessary so i don't i would say skip that one so then we put in here a function arrow expression and we're going to start a trigger a function here so what is the function we want to trigger? Right now we have no function here. We could do here console log. And just say here now, hello. And if I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, click here on the console, click on this, and you can see here we get the message hello. So this works, but of course, I want to make sure that this shows a function. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in here function name, and this function name could be show name as the function and then in here what I could do now is just cut out this put it in here and now I want to say I want to trigger this function to do that I just grab this part of the function name put
put it in here. If I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, click on it, you can see here we get hello again. So if I say here also one, two, three, save, refresh, there we are. So we have the connection made. And as you can see here, behind the scenes, a lot have changed, but the console shows basically the same values. So that's very positive. So now what I want to do here is the following. I want to move whatever value we inserted in the input here, the text input or the username ID. Uh, oh, hold on, let me double check. I have here the text type. That is not what I want. I wanted the ID of username, my bad. Change that one here, save. And then what I'm going to say here, whatever the value is here, I want to show them. So to get the value, I need to put in here basically something. If I press on this, I want to grab here the value attribute because that is basically the value of the input. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I grab this here and I do here console log and show now the username input, if I refresh, click on this, open up developer tab, we get the entire element. I don't want this because what I really want is basically the value here. So what we have, if we would have value, we could say your value and then here ABC and that will be then the default attribute being shown here. But now what I need is this value must be in here. So what I say here, I want to get the value attribute, which is username dot value. So now I have that one here. Let's see here, uh, username dot value. I can remove this value, save that, refresh. And now I say here, hello, one, two, three, click on this, there you are. So this works, but of course, there's a more professional way to do this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say here, I'm going to cut out this, put it in here as the username value and this here will eventually communicate here as the value i'll just say your value and put that in here so this is like what we call a parameter and this is the argument the argument is the exact value and the parameter is the reference to that exact value so if i refresh here now you will see oh of course it's blank now if i do this it works nicely and it shows these three characters all right now we're almost done here so what I want to do here now, what I want is on this name ID, which is the paragraph here, we're going to use another attribute. I'm going to say here, the inner text equals the input name. And that is basically the name that we insert here, or sorry, that's the input name that should be the value here. And we could even use input name, put it in there. So it's the direct reference. If I save that, refresh. Now I say here, hello test click on that and there you are so with this you could do so many different things and extract values from the input and insert it on the page if you enjoyed this video and understanding this i'm going to recommend you another video which is on how to add an on click button in javascript and get that value as well out it's very similar to this just slightly different we can do a lot more and that's in this video we explore that as well